Hello, welcome everybody to this week's Facebook Live. It is Wednesday, December 16th. So we have um, a number of things going on. We had the governor come on uh, yesterday and increase the yellow zones in Niagara County. So Niagara Falls, Niagara Wheatfield, Blackport, out that way have now become yellow zones and uh, they will have to start their 20% testing like we did uh, at Thanksgiving. So um, I've been helping them, working with them and talking with the Department of Health about how that works and what they need to do. Um, I believe they have a similar crisis as we did because we had the Thanksgiving break. They have an even longer Christmas break but have to have their testing done by uh, January 4th. So um, they're all working on that. Here in North Tonawanda, the high school reopened on Monday and um, that's going smooth. Uh, NTI is in remote and everyone else is um, in the hybrid model. So our cases um, have kind of quieted yesterday and today a little bit, uh, which is nice. And I want to remind everybody that it's not that we have a ton of positive COVID cases in the school. But uh, when someone becomes sick and gets the test and finds out they're positive, they then have to um, give the t contact tracers who they've been with. And we go back into the schools, into the offices, we go all around, um, even uh, if you've been anywhere um, outside of school, uh, and they trace those people and put them in self-quarantining basically for 14 days. So um, that takes out staff members, that takes out students, that takes out um, a lot of the normal procedure. And um, all it takes is one of those people that would be self-quarantined to become positive in that in those 14 days. And then the pool grows. So um, when we have closed the high school, the middle school, and now NTI, we have seen that uh, that sort of puts an end to it and the spread stops and uh, we can move on and be safe. We are approaching the Christmas holiday uh, next week. There's remote Wednesday basically next week and then Thursday, Friday is off for the break until January 4th. So our Monday, Tuesday students will be in uh, next week and we'll, and we'll move into the holiday after that. But um, the governor has been pretty adamant about um, we're doing better about not going out but now we're having people over and uh, it's spreading that way. So even though it's the holiday season and I know it's hard not to get together with friends and family, it's something that we need to really strive to do and uh, keep the rate down. They are starting the vaccine in Western New York and um, they're going through zone one or phase one basically where it's going to be medical professionals and first responders who get that. Uh, so I think we'll have a pretty dicey January still. Uh, because it won't be getting into uh, the general population probably till sometime in February. I know the Department of Health has worked on a number of areas for giving the vaccine when, when we get it here in this area and it's open to more people. Um, and I know in North Tonawanda they're looking at ground codes uh, for that site. So that will be um, a local area there as well as probably a triple C and other areas around. So. Uh, not a ton of new news. Um, we do have a policy meeting this evening, and after that policy me evening, uh, meeting this evening, I'll be back on to do a Facebook Live for the parents um, who want to ask questions then because they're not available at 2 o'clock. So we'll, we'll continue with that piece and um, remind everybody that throughout the holiday season, We'll be doing Mondays and Wednesdays for the breakfast and lunch pickup. If you're taking advantage of that, we encourage you to. You can get that at Spruce School or the high school on Mondays and Wednesdays, and all the details are listed on the website. So please take advantage of that. A quiet day today with comments, no comments today. As far as um, questions going on, um, I think that just means that uh, people are settling in knowing that uh, the holidays coming, happy that schools can remain open safely, and we'll do our best to, to try and keep them open. Um, that being said, the governor also today told us that the infection rate in Western New York is 
seems to be maintaining or coming down a little bit. And that's a good sign, even though he made more Niagara County um, areas yellow, um, it's still a good sign because it means our relationship to positive cases to hospital beds are um, we're in good shape. So we should be able to handle any kind of um, influx if we get it, but let's hope we don't. Let's hope we maintain it and stay healthy and nobody um, gets that and spreads uh, anything going forward. Uh, I don't have a lot more today, but I'll be on this evening. We are going to be uh, discussing some things at the uh, policy meeting that maybe I can update at 7 p.m. We are working with the um, NT Hall of Fame project. Um, for those people who helped donate to that, we were able to um, get windows through that project and John Barron and his group of people, and we're very appreciative to that. And we're looking at starting a phase two, so I'll be discussing some of that with the board and some grants that we could hopefully get for that to move into the holidays. So hopefully that will help us um, focus on something positive instead of COVID all the time. So we're looking forward to that as well as then we, of course, have to start the budget process. So we'll be doing a lot more on budget. So please tune in to our bo regular board meetings, which is the first um, Wednesday of every month. Um, and we'll have those on the website as a link, or you can uh, log in, or hopefully we'll be able to open up meetings and you can come ask your questions in person as well. When we do do them remotely, we do have a call-in number and uh, that is uh, manned so the person takes your call in question and then gives it to us so we can answer it. So um, don't hesitate to do that if you want. I see that um, there's an update for the frequently asked questions on COVID-19 that um, we posted, as well as then um, don't forget to take advantage of the breakfast and lunch service that we'll have over the holiday season. I will be back. Um, since there's not a lot of questions, oh, I was wondering if there is a way teachers can work from home regularly. So um, I think I had similar questions last time for um, working from home on Wednesdays, and it really isn't a, in part of the plan that we develop. It gets into a lot of personnel and tracking piece uh, as far as um, basically offering remote teaching at that point. So um, it's a good question, um, but We've been in it now for three, four months um, when we kind of discussed it with the Board of Education. We're hoping to get back to normal and get kids back in school on Wednesday at some point. So at this point, we're going to keep it the way it is. Can students satisfy their PE credit requirements by participating in designated physical fitness program outside of school? Uh, I would say, unless they have an IEP for that, or you make some kind of special adjustments, um, there's a curriculum to follow and certain things from New York State that have to be covered. So um, it's what you're saying isn't out of the realm if there's a special case going on, but um, the, the requirement from New York State would be to follow the curriculum. So um, we'd have to work with you and see what your son or daughter needs specifically and why you're asking that. Um, could start with the building principal, um, whatever building they're at, or you could um, contact the athletic director, um, who's listed on our webpage, uh, Matthew Cook. So I will be back um, at 7.30ish, depending how long the meeting goes. Might be 8, but I doubt it. Um, we should be um, able to answer more questions, and I do look at the feed throughout the evening then. Um, so if there's other questions posted later, either forward them to the people who can get you the answer or send an answer myself. Lots of times um, the parents are very good about answering as well. So um, I do kind of monitor that throughout the week after we do a Facebook Live. So um, just let us know if you have a question. And if not, hopefully I'll see a number of you back um, this evening. All right. Thank you. Wait a minute. This just says... Okay, thank you and have a good night. Stay safe and I'll be back this evening.